Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how magnetizer demagnetizer works and then checking if it's possible that you can actually magnetize a piece of steel with the Earth's magnetic field. There's this really cool tool that can turn any piece of steel into a magnet. You just stick it in the middle and suddenly a magnet. But then the cool thing is stick it in the top and it's suddenly not a magnet. So stick it below, it's a magnet. Stick it above, not a magnet. <laughs> it's amazing that so instantly it can turn something into a magnet or not a magnet. You probably assume that there's some really cool mechanism in here to get it to do what it does, to magnetize or demagnetize depending on if you put it in the top or bottom. You can see in the top there's this kind of weird shape here and in the bottom there's a square. So what is this actually doing? Well, let's cut it open and see if we can figure out how this is working. Okay, so what's the crazy secret in here for how this works? Two magnets. <laughs> Not even good magnets, just ceramic magnets in here. So it was sitting in here like this with the like poles facing each other and the opposite pole on top. So let's see if this still works. Stick it in here, it's magnetic. But stick it above here, it's not. So why does that work? Why does sticking it in between two like poles make it magnetic, but above it with just one pole, it makes it not magnetic? The reason this happens is because when you stick the screwdriver in between the magnets with the like poles facing each other, its magnetic field looks like this. So this causes all the little magnetic domains in the steel to align like this. So the north and south poles are parallel along the length of the screwdriver. But if you put it above the magnet, the magnetic field lines look like this. So the north and south poles are going perpendicular along the length of the screwdriver. So it's a weaker axis, and also the north and south poles are flipped in opposite directions depending on where you are on the magnet. So as you move it in and out, those poles switch, and so any that did get magnetized get demagnetized. When you pull it out all the way, it does end up with a little bit of magnetization with the north and south poles going perpendicular along the length of the screwdriver. But it's not a lot compared to when you put it in between two magnets with like poles facing each other. So that means if you just take a regular magnet like this one here where the north and south poles are on either end here and you rub it against a screwdriver like this, it'll magnetize it. So you can see that this is easily magnetized. But if you turn the magnet sideways like this so the north and south poles are on either end and rub it against it, it will demagnetize it. So you can see that it no longer sticks. So when we put steel or some other ferromagnetic in a magnetic field, it causes the magnetic domains in it to align with whatever magnetic field it's in. And it'll stay like that for a while, but not completely permanently. In fact, you can make it non-magnetic again if you just drop it too hard, because it shakes up all those magnetic domains again to be in a random order and not aligned, so it becomes non-magnetic again. Also, you can just heat it up and it will become non-magnetic as well. Now keep in mind this only works for ferromagnetic metals. There are other metals that are paramagnetic, which means they're slightly attracted to a magnetic field, but they're not strongly attracted to it. And you can't permanently magnetize those metals. So I have a chunk of gadolinium here. Gadolinium is strongly paramagnetic at this temperature. You can see that I can rub this strong neodymium magnet against it. And it doesn't get magnetized. So we saw when you stick things like iron in a magnetic field, it causes it to have its own magnetic field. But what if you don't have a magnet to start with in the first place? Can you still make a magnet? Well, the answer is yes, because we actually have a magnet all around us, and it's the Earth. The Earth has its own magnetic field, and so that means if you have something like a piece of iron, and you do just the right things, you can actually get it to become magnetic just from the magnetic field of the Earth. So what I have here is some neodymium magnets just on some styrofoam floating in water. You can see that when I try to turn this, it'll float for a bit, but eventually it always wants to line up this direction. And it's not surprising why this is because it's lining up exactly with the Earth's magnetic field. You can see that this is the north-south direction going like this. But if I get another magnet, it very easily overcomes the magnetic field of the Earth and turns towards it instead. So a compass like this is a very good tool to see if the thing you're holding has any magnetism to it. So if I get something that doesn't have its own magnetic field, you can see that the magnet will be attracted to this bolt but it'll be attracted on both sides. So it's attracted on the south side and it's attracted on the north side.
but I have a still file here. You can see that the south side is attracted to both ends of this. So that means that there's no magnetic field in this. But now let's hit it like this. So I have it aligned with the magnetic field of the earth. Once we start pounding this, it should align the magnetic domains in here with the magnetic domains of the magnetic field of the earth. So that means that this side should be attracted to the south side here and this side should be attracted to the north side here. Attracted. Is it repelled? It's actually repelled. Look, it's moving away from it. Look at this side. Completely turns. And this side. See, this side doesn't turn towards it. But this side does. This is now south and this is north. So without any magnet to begin with, just by pounding a piece of steel, you make it magnetic in whatever direction the magnetic field of the earth is at that point. This will work even better if the steel is hot when you're doing it, and then it cools down in that magnetic field. So just by knocking the domains in steel, you actually get them to align with the earth's magnetic field. Before we continue with this experiment, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Klima. It's clear that our climate is changing. Have you ever wondered how much you're having an impact on climate change? Well, with a monthly subscription with Klima, you can plant trees and promote green energy projects and even improve lives around the globe. With Klima's app, you can calculate your carbon footprint in just three minutes. So I produce a little bit less than the average American, but way more than the average person in the world. And then you can fund climate projects that capture or reduce the same emissions elsewhere. And you can even learn how to reduce your footprint further one lifestyle change at a time. And also you can share the app with your friends so you can see how your influence multiplies with others. So come and join me and go carbon neutral with Klima today. Just click the link in my description and download the app. And after you've calculated your carbon footprint, type in the code ACTIONLAB10 and you'll get 10 extra trees planted in your name. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab and we'll see you next time.